morning and welcome back to another video in this video as you can see I have my mom here you're just seeing her pretty much at the end of it because she <laughs> is leaving tomorrow but in this video it's gonna be mostly her video because it was her idea to collect a lot of herbs and teas on our land last year we didn't have so much the time to collect and we were so busy and this year we have the help of my mom and she is responsible for all the teas because it's also part of her job yes i'm a physiotherapist <laughs> and a health coach for many years and i like to work with natural way of uh, healing so i found a lot of herbs here on their land next year i will try to find some more specific uh, plants but uh, let us show the ones we yeah. collected, uh, just uh, the simple ones and... Uh... The ones that we have a lot of, because yeah. we have a lot of itchy plants, the nettles, as we like to call them itchy plants, because they eat you. So we have loads of those and a lot of other ones, so we just collected the ones that we have the most of, and we did not really need to take the time to look for them. So I think, yeah. let's get started with the nettles. So people are telling that you have to collect the female ones and the female ones are the ones who have a lot of seeds and downwards. Uh, in comparing, this one has less and they are going sideways. These are the male ones and uh, you can eat them but uh, they tell they are not so healthy. So we have to collect no, the not, girls. Not so <laughs> they are not so valuable, valuable okay. not so rich in nutrition. Like yeah.
So here we have all the tea and the spice, here at the end is the mint, except of the nettles and the mint, I really don't know how those are called in any language, I just know that they're healthy, my mom knows how this one's called. It's called the uh, St. John's Word. Yeah, <laughs> and we also have put in front the flowers, so that's the first stage before the dry up and the last stage that we can use. This is not all we collected because of course I kept some for myself <laughs> yeah, to I'm take with me to Chris because uh, where can you have the opportunity to get them like a bio plant uh, yeah. here on this ground with nothing around, nothing to pollute them? So they're pretty pure, so yeah, that's what I'm keeping and my mom has exactly the same amount for her to keep because of course we cannot consume that much ourselves and hopefully this year we're not gonna get sick, we're gonna kind of prevent it by already drinking some teas because they're also healthy, not for just when you're sick. Yeah, especially this one. Uh, I never use it, I found it here accidentally. <laughs> On, in the bushes <laughs> and uh, it's a funny plant because it's like a very ancient plant it looks like the old 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 trees before the di dinosaurs they have a lot of small pieces they're like 
yeah, like that's together. sticked in like a like straw into straw so yeah. they're like breaking apart and very easy they break apart yeah. and uh, get like needles and they are very very rich in silicium and uh, uh, metals that are uh, good for our body for the skin for the nails for tooth that's what they're telling <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I, have I no never idea. made I never made the chemical uh, analysis, but <laughs> the books are writing this one. Yeah, and then we have the John Johnsworth. You can recognize it easy because um, if you take the flower off and you rub it into your fingers, it gets you red. gets a little bit. You cannot see it so much. It gets a yeah. little bit red, and uh, usually I make from Greece. I'm uh, I'm doing this oil. It's good for the stomach, it's good for the skin, but you don't have to consume too much if you want to sunbath because it, is, it <laughs> makes you photosensitive a little oh, yeah? bit. I yeah. didn't know that. Yep. You have to be so careful. yeah, this year we already have one of those in oil. Yeah, but oil. we still have, yeah. So, so we decided to make tea. Tea is also very good and it's maybe a bit easier to consume. I don't want to give health instructions, you can Google what sort yeah. of is for. Yes, yeah, so we're going to write all the names underneath, I forgot to say. So you can Google it yourself, as you can tell, my mom knows much more. She went into it and Googled a lot and researched a lot. And yeah, I wanted to say that my mom, she's actually pretty lucky with her job. And I'm lucky to have her so long here to be able to do all of this work. Just because she's able to work from distance with Zoom and all of those things. So that's pretty cool yeah. that I can have her so close <laughs> to me for that long. And hopefully, She's gonna come again for Christmas, hopefully. But then we're not gonna have so much work. There's nothing gonna be outside to be done. Maybe we're gonna focus with some crafts inside. But yeah, I think we have explained. Now we have to show the nice <laughs> powder we made. Yes, that was actually, it does not feel a lot what we got out of it because it was so much more at the start. <clears throat> and it was quite of a tidy, tidy job for my mom to get it all done. <laughs> Yes, the problem was trying it here. Yeah, we actually, yeah, you saw it. We had a good idea. David's idea to put it all in the car and that worked amazing. Yeah. We had this heat, we used it to that advantage. Yeah, because we didn't want to put it in the oven. Yeah. Uh, to, to heat the house up with <laughs> the oven as well. Yeah, so we have and this one is good for soup. We can put it in soup. I want to make salads. pasta. I want to make yeah. green pasta with it instead of spinach. Because this one is healthy. This one is the nettles. And the seeds are very good for salads. I mm -hmm. like to eat them, they're very nice and crunchy. Yeah, yeah. And mate, of course, you can use them whatever you want. <laughs> they're like small, small, small. <laughs> and crunchy. Yeah, they're healthy and crunchy. And this one you can put in mincemeats. In, in all kinds of foods. We put it yeah, in many okay. foods in Greece. is like mm. our one of the in most rice ingredients. Dishes, yeah, in the yes. rice dishes. Or in cakes. We also use it for cakes and ice cream when we made. So that's pretty and nice. And kefir. And kefir. My mom, I guess, she used it with our milk. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope it was not too chaotic of a video. Hope everything was placed pretty good because it was filmed over the time quite a lot. But yeah. And thank you again, <laughs> everybody, to supporting them. <laughs> bye bye. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully we're gonna see her soon. Make sure, oh, yeah, and make sure if you have any questions about my mom's work or anything you wanna know, she loves reading the comments. She's always reading all the comments and as most of you know, she's also replying in some. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. So she, but she reads all of them. So if you want to know anything, let her know through our comments. She reads all of them. But yeah, bye bye. Sun is leaving. <laughs>